Hi everyone and welcome to Money Hustle. Today I am diving into another world of video editing for beginners with CapCut on a mobile device. CapCut is an amazing video editing app that is beginner friendly, easy to navigate and it has great features that you can use to achieve that awesome videos you've always desired. CapCut has both pro and free editing tools that is perfect for beginners. Please make sure you watch this video to the end because it's going to be beneficial to you as a beginner to CapCut and all editing will be done on a mobile device because mobile device is easy to carry around and you can edit anywhere you are. In this video, we'll be looking at some basic features like trimming, splitting, voice enhancement, voice reduction, volume, how to add filters, how to add effects, how to change your aspect ratio to fit into any of your social media handle, how to change your background, how to increase or decrease the speed of your video, and more. Now let's move to CapCut homepage or interface to start editing our video. So now let's edit our video in CapCut. Open your CapCut app if you have one and please update it. If you don't, you can easily download it from Play Store or Apple Store. To start editing your video, click on the plus button. Go to your media and select the video you intend to edit. Now click on add. This is the video I want to edit. The first thing I do after uploading my video to CapCut, I work on the sound of my voice or audio. Tap on the video clip and scroll down to where you see reduce noise here. Reduce noise and OK. Now scroll back to volume. You can increase your volume or decrease your volume here. To reduce the volume, just drag it back. Have you always had to increase the volume? Move it forward. Have you always had intent? Then OK. After here, scroll down to where you see enhanced voice. This helps improve the quality of your voice or audio. Click here and click on this button. Then give CapCut a few minutes to enhance the voice. Have you always had the intention of starting a video? Now that you've enhanced your voice, click on OK. I deliberately worked on the voice or audio first so as to make the editing easy because when you split before working on your voice, you will need to work on your voice clip by clip because splitting has been done. So once you upload your video to CapCut for editing, you can Quickly work on your voice before going to stream or split your video. Now, let's move to splitting of our video. To split your video into two or more clips, move the player to your desired point of splitting. Tap on the video clip at that point and tap on split. This is split. You can see the video has been split into two. You can go ahead and split it more. Tap the clip and click on split. This video has been split into three, one, two, three. Three, you now have three clips of this video. That is it for splitting. Now to trim our video, tap at the point you want to trim. You can trim part of the video you don't want in your video after editing. To trim it, you can see these two white parts here. This place. Just tap on it. Tap on this white part and drag the video like this. That means you are trimming the part you don't want in your video. If the part of the video that you don't want is somewhere here, tap this place and split it. Then trim that part out of your video. I'm starting a reaction. That is how you trim unwanted part of your video. Now to add music or audio to our video, click on audio, then sound. You can choose from a variety of sound provided by CapCut or you choose from your media. Click here, device, then pick any of the songs you want to use from your media. Preferably, I will advise you to use some from YouTube audio to prevent copyright strike. Let me pick a song from CapCut. This is it. You can drag this sound to the beginning of your clip. This video already has a voiceover. Adding this sound, you can use this sound as your background sound. Click on the sound and reduce the volume. So your voice will be louder than the sound. That sound can only be your background sound. Now bring the volume to, let's say, I'm starting a reaction channel, but worried about I'm starting a reaction channel, but worried about those fancy gadgets you need to. Now that is it. That is how you can add sound. Now we move over to text. To add text to your video, tap on text. 
add text. This will appear here. Input the text you want. Okay. You can go ahead and customize your font, color, and animation of your text using the options provided by CapCode. Then position the text on the screen by dragging it. This is how you position. Just move, just tap on it and move it to the position you want it to be. If you want it to be here, fine. If you want it to be here, fine. Anywhere you want it to be, just place it there. To customize your text, tap on style. Pick any font style from here. Then you can go ahead and pick this or any of the colors. Effects. If you want to add effects to your text, these are the effects. Animation. Animation has both pro and free version. So you can use any of the free version if you are not using the pro. It's worried. Increase your animation by dragging this. But worried about those fancy guys. But what? So this is how you can make use of the text feature. Okay. If you want the text to start from the beginning, click on the text. Move it to the beginning of the video. That is it on text. This is how to add stickers to your video. Tap on text. Here you see stickers. This is stickers. These are the stickers. They have different types of stickers. Yeah. This is where you can get the subscribe button, like, subscribe, and the notification button, and more. These are all the stickers, the like button, record, and YouTube stickers, and more. Here, under vlogging, these are the stickers available. So go through all the stickers and choose the one that fits into your content. If you have a customized stickers that you would like to add from your media, this is where you get it. This plus button. Tap here. And it will take you, you can add any sticker. You can add your sticker from here. For example, let me pick a sticker. This is one of the stickers. So this is it. So you can add any sticker from here. This is your customized stickers that you already have saved in your media. Then if you want to make use of these other stickers, you just tap it. Subscribe. Let's add the subscribe button. Have you always so this is it. You can go ahead and add more stickers to your videos. Adjust it and place it wherever you want. So this is how you apply stickers to your video. Now overlay. To overlay our video, click on overlay. Add overlay. Use this as the overlay. This is how you add overlay. Adjust your overlay by tapping on the clip. Place this. You can place your overlay here. Or you place it anywhere you can also adjust adjust your video clip if you want the video clip to be small this is it you want the overlay to be bigger than the video clip this is it so just adjust it as desire this is how you add overlay now remove background to change background let me click on the plus button to add the background intent to use photos now, this is the background I want to use. Add. Adjust the background to fit into the aspect ratio of your video. You now click on your video and click on overlay. Drag this video to the beginning. Click on the overlaid video clip and remove background. Auto remover. Now the background has been removed. Adjust your video. This is it. You can see from a plain background, I've changed my background to this. You can adjust your video. I'm starting a reaction channel. But this is it. The video background has been changed from plain background to this beautiful background. You can use any background of your choice. I'm starting a reaction channel, but worried about those parts. We move to filters. Tap on filters. You can see different options of filters here. 
they have for both free and pro version. Look for the free version and pick any of the filters that fit into your videos. This. Tan. So let's use tan. So I'm using the tan filters. You can drag it to the end of your video. Now effects. Let's move to effects. Now effects. So apply effects on your video. Click on the effects button. You see various effects, both pro and free version. Now look for any of the effects you want to use for your video and tap on it. Let me go for lens. Under lens, I want to make use of blur. That is a reaction channel, but worry it. Tap on blur to adjust the blurring. You can decrease the blur effect or increase the blur effect. This is it. Let's blur our background. This is how you can also blur your background by using the blur effect. Drag the blur effect to the end of the video. We also have body effects. For example, this. Let's use some of the effects. This is it. I'm starting a reaction channel, but worried about. You can see the effects. Let's make use of this. I'm starting a reaction channel, but worried. Selfie. And so many effects. Just go through all the effects and pick the ones you want to make use of. That is it for effects. Now, to extract your voice from your video. You can see from this video, I made this video with my voice together. I didn't do, I didn't make the voice over separate and the video separate. This video is together with my voice. You can also extract your voice from this video. Click on the clip of this video, scroll down and tap on extract audio. Your audio has been extracted from your video. Extracting your audio from your video helps makes it easy for you to be able to trim or split your audio to fit into various clips of your video. Now, this is the audio I just extracted from this video. Let me reduce the volume totally. You can see, you can only hear the background sound. Let me increase the volume. Have you always had the intention of starting a reaction? That is it. I can move this audio from here to whatever part of the video clip I want and allow it to play. That is the advantage of extracting your audio from your videos. So you can also trim and split your audio the way you trim and split your videos. Now let's move over to voiceover. To add voiceover to your video, it's the same thing as adding sound or music to your video. Click on audio. Where you see audio, you can scroll down. This is a microphone. Yeah, tap on this. It allows you to record your voice. You can easily record your voice with this voiceover or you can use an external voice recorder to record your voice and add it to your video. If you have an external voiceover that you've recorded somewhere and you want to add it to your video, just tap on sound. Go to your device. Scroll to the voiceover you've previously recorded and add it. To add it to your video, just tap on this plus sign. And there you go. Look at it here. So that is how you add your voiceover. Drag it to the beginning of your video or anywhere you want it to be in your video. You can move it down here. You can move it to the beginning of the videos. Same thing applies to other sound in your video. Now let's move over to text to speech. Tap on this plus sign and impute the text you want to convert to speech. For example, so this is the text I want to convert to speech. Tap on what you've typed. Then Scroll down to text to speech. This is text to speech. The first thing you do when you get to text to speech, tap on apply all so that the text to speech will apply on every part of the video. If you don't want text to speech on all part of the video, you can untap. If you want it till the end of your video, tap on apply all. Alcott also has a pro and free version. Let me make use of male voice. Please subscribe to my channel. Now, this is text to speech. Now, adjust the speed of the speech. Then you tap on OK. And let's play. Now this is the result of the text to speech. Let's play it. Please subscribe to my channel. That is how you can convert your text to speech. Now let's move over to auto caption. Auto caption means automatically converting all the words you said in your video to text. Now to do that, tap on text. This is auto caption. Tap on auto caption. Choose the font template. And tap generate. Please take this few seconds to hit on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. It has finished generating the auto caption. It has converted everything. You don't need to impute the text one by one. It has converted everything to text. 
Let's play it. Have you always had the intention of starting a reaction channel, but worried about those fancy gadgets you need to buy before creating those content? Then you need... Now, this is how you can easily convert your speech to text. You can edit this caption in case some of the words does not match the words you said in your video. Tap edit. And this is a batch edit. Just go through it from the beginning to the end and edit the text. This is how to automatically caption your video in CapCut. Now let's move over to aspect ratio. Aspect ratio means fitting your video into any of the social media platform like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and others. Scroll down and you see aspect ratio. Tap on aspect ratio. This is the original aspect ratio for this video. Yeah, 9.16. 9 ratio 16 is for Instagram. You can also use it for Facebook. Then 16.19, which is landscape, the recommended aspect ratio for YouTube long form video. So this is it. So let me tap here. You can see automatically it has converted to landscape. Then tap on the video clip and this is it. This is the landscape. Have you always had the intention of starting a reaction? You can see it now is in form of landscape. So this is how to make use of the aspect ratio in CapCut. You use it to adjust your video to fit into any of your social media platform, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. To undo this aspect ratio, just tap here. This is undo. We are back to the original ratio of this video. To increase the speed of your video, tap on the video clip and Tap on speed, normal. Then you can increase the speed of your video or decrease the speed. Let's increase the speed. Play. Always had the intention of starting a reaction channel. This is how you can make use of the speed in your videos. CapCut is so wide that we can't cover every aspect of it in this video. The, the last part of this video tutorial is the default ending. I see, I see most people post their video edited on CapCut with the default ending. They remove this default ending. Please scroll down to the default ending. This is what is called default ending. This. Just tap on it and delete. To remove it permanently, you can easily go back to CapCut homepage. Let's go back to CapCut homepage. Go back to CapCut homepage. Tap on setting. You can see default ending is up here. When you own it, that means you want it to appear at the end of your video. Yeah, you tap on it. Keep default ending. Discard. You tap on discard. Automatically, it's off. So you go back to your video editing. So this is it. The fourth ending will not appear at the end of the video because at times you might forget to delete it. So just turn it off permanently so it doesn't appear on your video. But once you are done and happy with your edit, it's time to export your video. Tap on the export button at the right top of the screen here. Choose your desired resolution. Okay. Then this arrow here shows you that you should export. Once you tap here, your video save automatically to your device and that is it so you can share to a different social media handle i suggest not to share directly from here you can go to your media and start sharing to any of the social media platform you intend to strictly for beginners and that is it you just created your first video using CapCut. with a little bit of practice you'll be able to edit like a pro in no time you can go ahead and record a short video clip on your mobile device you can tag me on my facebook on instagram with the same name monic hustle let me see how you'll be able to navigate through the CapCut interface please browse through my channel to watch more of my video on how to record and edit your reaction video using your mobile device my first video on CapCut tutorial for beginners i will leave the link to each of the video in this video description and also how to change the background of your video to your desired background please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you found this video helpful please give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends let me know in the comment section what tutorial video you would like to see and don't forget to hit on the subscribe button for more awesome content until next time happy editing thanks for watching bye